So we're gonna start with the very first pie crust. This is a very typical all American pie crust, okay? Very simple ingredients, um, sort of similar to if you go to the grocery store and you buy like the Fillsbury or those kind of frozen brands. Um, but this is really, it's so easy and it tastes so much better than those frozen brands. So I know those seem really convenient, but with how easy this is, you'll never do the frozen stuff again. Um, so this is used to, in your typical like fruit pies. You could use this in like uh, chicken pot pie, savory stuff. So this makes two pie crusts because we need one pie crust from the bottom of the pie tin and one to then cover the fruit pie. Um, so that's why we're making two. Okay, so in my bowl, I have two cups of flour, I have one tablespoon of sugar, and I have three, four tablespoon of salt. No wet ingredients yet. Um, I'm gonna go grab my butter from the refrigerator. Normally we use um, room temperature butter. For this particular, particular recipe, we want cold butter. So let me go grab that. The reason we want cold butter here is um, we don't want the butter to actually melt into the pie crust, okay? We don't want it to blend fully. You're going to see chunks of butter when you roll this pie crust out. And that's good, because when it cooks, it's gonna create this flakiness on the pie crust, and that's what you want when you have a piece of pie. You don't want it to be like mushy or like goopy or anything like that. You want it flaky. So I have here, um, I have, it's two sticks of cold butter or one cup or eight ounces, okay? I already have them kind of cut up here. They're just out of the refrigerator. I can break them up a little bit more with my hands. And I'm gonna place them in my bowl with the flour, the sugar, and the salt. Okay, don't push this that away. All right, now either with a pastry cutter, if you happen to have one, but I know a lot of people don't have this in their kitchen, so I'm gonna use my hands. You are going to get in here and blend up the butter with the flour, salt, and sugar. The goal is to break the butter down so they become pea-sized pieces. It's not gonna be even, okay? You're gonna have some chunks that are a little bigger, some that are a little smaller, and that's all okay, but you want sort of general pea-like size. All right, so let's mush it up. So I'm coating the butter with the flour, I'm combining the flour, salt, and sugar, and I'm also just sort of squishing the butter to um, make it smaller sizes. Um, you can't, as I was gonna say before, you can put this in a food processor, um, but you just wanna be careful to not over blend, okay? We do not want this to get uh, too mixed in. We want the chunks of butter, okay? Which is sort of counterintuitive. All right, so I just wanna show you this is about the size that we're looking for here. All right, so you'll notice it's not like perfectly round. It's not, um, you know, all even or anything. Getting this all mixed in. So this is pretty good. I have some chunks that are bigger. I have some that are smaller, okay? But in general, they're, you know, it's broken down. Everything is certainly coated with the, uh, the flour, salt, and sugar. All right, so I'm gonna take a moment. I'm just gonna wash my hands off and we want to get a half a cup of cold water ready to go, okay? So I have that ready in a measuring cup over here. I'm just gonna rinse my hands off. So now I'm gonna take my half a cup of cold water. This is gonna kind of bind everything together. I don't wanna pour the whole thing in. I wanna do a little bit at a time, because um, we don't want this to get too wet. The goal is to have it so everything can come together, can stick together. Um, and that's it. That's our goal. And then we're going to actually be packaging this up and throwing it in the freezer until next week. Okay, super easy. So let's pour in a little bit. So I'm only doing a little at a time. Okay, getting my hands in there again. Okay, so parts of it is starting to stick together, but it's still super crumbly. So I'm going to grab my water again, dump a little bit more. Keep going. Now, chances are I will probably use all of the water, so all half, you know, cup of it. 
Um, but I don't want to overdo it. So I'm only doing a little bit of time. Let's add a little bit more. Now, again, you want to be careful to not squish the butter too much at this point. I'm just lightly trying to guide this crumbly dough together so it forms into one ball-like shape. Okay, yep, a little bit more. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to be using my whole thing of water here. There we go. Perfect. This is a fun activity if you have like little siblings getting them involved because um, it's really squishy and fun. All right. Cool. So that's definitely good. That's all coming together nicely. All right. Make sure this is a good time to scrape off and sort of rinse off your hands again, but get off as much dough as you can. So now I have this dough. I'm going to split it in half. I'm not going to measure it. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it out. Um, and I'm going to grab some shrink wrap or plastic wrap. Grab some plastic wrap here. So I'm going to take half of my mix and kind of form it into a ball and place it down on my plastic wrap. Let's move this so you can all see it. All right, I'm going to flatten it out so it's sort of like a disc shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this is just going to make it easier to roll when we're ready to do that next class. Okay, and then we're going to cover it up. Make sure it's sealed. And we're going to go ahead and do that for the second piece. Okay, take our disc here. Just getting all the butter out. And flattening it out. We're done. Boom. Okay. So that's it for this pie crust, okay? So we have two pie crusts here. One is gonna be the bottom of our pie, and one's gonna be the top. Um, you can make another batch of this for that uh, July 25th workshop if you would like. Um, and we're gonna stick this in the freezer until uh, next class. So the, the Tuesday before, so on Tuesday, I'll remind everybody to take this out of the freezer and put it in your refrigerator to defrost. But for now, we're going to put it, I like putting it in a Ziploc bag um, just to make sure that it doesn't get freezer burn and uh, stick it in the freezer, okay, when we're done. You don't have to do it right now. You're keeping it in the freezer up and it doesn't have to go in the freezer. Let me just say, mm -hmm. it doesn't have to go in the freezer. That's not an essential step. We're putting it in the freezer today because we have a week until we're going to use it. If you're making it the day before or even two days before, so if you're making it on like Monday, let's say, just stick it in the refrigerator. It should be cold, okay? So it either needs to have been in the refrigerator or the freezer, but it does not have to be, um, and if you're making, even like, let's say just for sake of argument, let's say that you got up at like 6 a.m. Wednesday morning and decided I'm gonna make a pie crust right now. Um, you just need to stick it in the refrigerator. It's like two hours before you use, you use it. 